swim lines on your canoe are a bit of a contentious issue and I am going to do a video on different ways of putting swim lines on. I've changed in the last couple of months how I mount my swim lines to my canoe because I think I've come up with a better idea and I just want to share that with you. The way I used to do it was I used to have elastic on the deck, two loops of elastic, then the swim line bag would be mounted underneath the elastic and then it would be carabinered onto the grab loop at the front of the boat. So basically they'd be sat on the front of the boat like that with elastic over the top, keeping the bag in position. What would then happen is if I had to, to grab the line, the elastic would stretch and the bag would go into any position that was necessary and the line from the bag would be transmitted straight through onto the grab loop. And that used to work relatively well. Two things I noticed though. Number one, the little loops that used to come out on top of the deck, they used to tear and get ripped off really easily. Little thin five mil loops would be wrecked within a couple of months. And um, number two is that the bag itself was mounted very, very high up on the front of the boat and it was quite floppy. So in, in quite tricky water, it used to bounce around a lot. And if for whatever reason I was going underneath things or the boat was scraping along the rock, the bag itself used to get caught or branches used to get caught underneath it. It'd just be a bit of a problem. So I didn't like the bag being sat on the decks. So here's what I have done. I've changed how I mount my, my bags and I've just taken a, a stronger piece of bungee and mounted the bag much more low. So first thing I do is I take a, a sling that's got to be about yay long or double that if you're going to double it up and I, I put the sling through my grab loop and then connect that through like so. Now that's a a 2,000 kilo breaking strain sling on a 2,000 kilo breaking strain piece of rope. So if you think that's going to break, good luck. So once I've got my sling, I then um, carabiner the bag directly to the sling, like so. And here's where I've changed my design. I now have this grab loop here, and not using 5 mil skinny bungee, I use big fat boy super strong 8 mil bungee, which is really tough really stretchy and then take the bag ram it under the bungee and put it in place and what you can see there is the bag is seriously wedged in so there's less chance of things getting caught it's much cleaner profile then the line sticks out and it holds the bag nice and neat into the boat if I had to grab the swim line and make a bolt for the bank the line would pay out and eventually it would come tight into the bottom of the bag. It would be retracted out of the bungee and go tight onto the sling. So it's a load bearing connection all the way down the boat. So that's all I've really done is I've changed from mounting on the deck to mounting inside the boat using thicker bungee. Done. Let's show you how I've tied the bungee on if that's of use to you. Uh, it's raining. Uh, first thing we really need to do is get hold of some good quality 8 mil bungee. It's super tough, super strong and cut it to length. Now what we're going to do here is we've tied some barrel knots into the end of the bungee to act as big fat stoppers. This is how I do things. And, and a barrel knot is really easy to tie and if you don't know what a barrel knot is just go online and tie it. Just go online and research it. Barrel knot is a couple of loops and then poke the end through. That's, that's a barrel knot, done. So it, an, an overhand knot, or often called a granny knot, is just one loop and round. And this is two loops and round. So super technical stuff. And that gives you a, a big fat knot at the end of your, of your rope. And all I've done there is put the bungee on and sealed up the ends with some barrel knots. So what we're going to do next is take the end of the bungee, pass it through your grab handle and we're actually going to do a clove hitch. Boom, like that. There's your clove hitch and the barrel knot stops that coming through. So I'm going to do exactly the same again. Oop, bit fiddly. Look at that, two clove hitches 
with the barrel knots coming through. Now, the catch here is that it's quite soft. It, it, it won't kinch up very well. I can pull that really tight and then it relaxes, look. Pull it really tight and then it relaxes. So if I were to just leave that, it would eventually come undone and I'd lose it. So all I do is I secure the barrel knot and the clove hitch together with a little tiny zip tie. All I do is identify the barrel knot and the cord, and slide it between the two, and zip tie it together. That's it. That's all I need to do. I can do the same over here. Identify the cord and the barrel knot together. And zip the tie the two together that will stop things coming undone zip tie those two cords together life is good one pull that tight two buckle my shoe then i can pull that tight and that's it it won't come undone it's zip tied up take your, your throw line wash it underneath there's your grab loop sorted done Snip them off with scissors, make them tidy.